up this morning. They've been out in that cold air for quite some time. So hopefully you knew that it was going to be cold. You might be dealing with some freezing temperatures and you took all of those uh, plants inside and uh, the pets as well. Take a look at some of these temperatures right now. We're talking sub freezing temperatures. Right now, we're talking sub-freezing temperatures uh, across portions of uh, New York into Vermont. Look at this, 27 degrees in Montpelier right now. Uh, even sub-freezing in Binghamton, sitting at 30 degrees. Very chilly as you're waking up in Hartford with your temperature at 38 degrees. Actually, I'd call that cold. I'd go so far as to call 38 cold. So breaking out the jacket, these freeze warnings you can see that are still in effect this morning. Everywhere shaded in pink is in that freeze warning. So uh, quite a large area to say that we just started fall already seeing those freeze warnings. freeze warnings and frost advisories uh, through a little bit later this morning. The forecast highs for today going to remain on the cool side. 55, that's where you're headed in Burlington, so I would say that is at least light jacket. So I would say that is at least light jacket weather throughout the day. Minneapolis, you're headed for the upper 50s. Chicago, mid 60s. So definitely a far cry from those well above average temperatures we were seeing. Now tonight, it's still going to be chilly to cold, but not as cold as it was uh, overnight last night. So as you're waking up tomorrow morning, you'll be waking up in the lower 40s in Burlington and Albany, the upper 40s in Syracuse, rather than the 20s and 30s that you're seeing this morning. And then highs tomorrow going to be in the uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s. So Chicago right around the mid 60s should be a, a beautiful, uh, nice temperate day there. Mid 70s in Columbus, D.C. You're headed for the upper 70s, which is much closer to average for this time of year than you have been. And by Monday, you can see these very moderate temperatures still really sticking around. It's going to be pleasant in Minneapolis. The highs on Monday in 63 degrees. St. Louis, you're headed for the lower 70s. Same thing in Wichita. So we are finally getting that switch of the seasons going from the summer that seems like it would never end to fall and in some places even more winterish, Tevin. Absolutely. Much better as uh, they head to St. Louis on Sunday. But take a look at some of these temperatures recorded. The hottest MLB postseason games, of course. This one's going to be very hard to beat. 103 degrees Astros at Dodgers back in 2017. But the last two uh, Cardinals and Braves games here in Atlanta making that list second and third at 94 and 95 degrees. So uh, definitely going to be very hot or was very hot for those uh, uh, water the viewers sitting out there, the fans. So that is one of those things where you just have to make sure you're staying you're very hydrated and finding some shade or AC at some point. Let's head to Yankee Stadium today in New York. Big difference here. We're talking temperatures in the uh, upper 50s as we head through the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, though, so it will be comfortably cool. And then to Houston for Minute Maid and Minute Maid Park. Still a little on the toasty side there as the Rays take on the Astros. Going to be around uh, 89 degrees at about 6 p.m., but will fall into the lower 80s by 10 o'clock tonight. Tevin. All right, let's go. Denser air stays closer to the ground, and then we get the wedge setting up. And you can really make that out here where you can see the difference in where we see the cooler air funneled in along the uh, mountain chain of the Appalachians versus the places that maybe are not getting the impacts from that wedge. This is a really great visual depiction of it. So uh, our highs for today where you're getting the, uh, the beneficial impacts of that wedge. Atlanta, you're going from the upper 90s yesterday to the lower 80s today. Now, there might be just a little bit more cloud cover around, but I'd say that's probably a welcome change. 67 for your high in Asheville. But take a look at what happens as we look a little bit farther to the west where you're not feeling the impacts of that wedge. You're still going to be very hot near records in Montgomery where you're warming to the upper 90s. Jackson, Mississippi, we're talking mid 90s for you. That is well above average. Even Memphis and Nashville still making it into the lower 90s. So really going to be uh, thankful for that wedge where we're seeing the impacts. For Charlotte, this is actually going to be the coolest day that you've seen since June 12th. So 
that's July, August, September, more than three months, uh, almost four months, in fact, that uh, you're going to finally see some lower 70s, your average high in the mid 70s. So today, a bit below average, but I'd say it's probably a welcome change. Your high temperatures for tomorrow, you can see 70s and 80s as a general rule of thumb. Charleston, uh, South Carolina, we're talking lower 80s for you. Up into Richmond, lower 80s for you as well. We're Roanek, you'll be stuck in the lower 70s. Charleston, South Carolina, yesterday's high 94, today's high lower 80s. So I'd say you are going to be feeling really much more fall-like in Charleston. I think a lot of people are going to use that to get outside and enjoy, Tevin. And get